include everything. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing the advanced algorithm scripting make a person from free code camp. Now, we're going to be doing basically just some object oriented programming, and uh, you'll see that they give us a list of, um, of functions around here, or to create. So we're going to go ahead and get started just by creating these six. And then as we go through, we will uh, test them uh, one by one. So first thing, uh, you see that like right here, I'm going to just delete this right away, uh, or delete this return statement and get started. So we want to, with getters, uh, such as get first name, so we're going to define our function get first name. Now, this is uh, our, our function here, this.getFirstName, and we'll go ahead and call it right here. All, this, all that we want this to do is return something. What do we want it to return? Well, we want it to return the first name. Now, the way I did this was our person takes in one parameter. In this case, we're taking in Bob Ross. I created an array, just called var array, and set it equal to uh, the first and last dot split and we split on the space so when we console dot log this out we should have uh, so let's go ahead and return array and see what it says if I if I remember correctly this should just go ahead and put out Bob Ross as an array so you'll see right here here's our Bob Ross now we only want the first name so we can just go ahead and put the zero index and that will get a that's our get first name. So we're getting Bob. That's all we're getting right there. Now we can do the same thing for get last name. Going to be very similar. So we'll go ahead and do this dot get last name it is a function. So and in this instance, all we want our getter here to do is return. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Return the last name which is the one index spot um, now this is assuming that we're only using first and last name in our input here else this would be a little bit more complicated let's go ahead and call get last name we're going to just make sure everything's working out as we go through and this is really how you should be testing your code anyhow so there's our, our uh, the homie Ross all right so get full name, we want to then get full name is just going to return this. So say similar thing, this dot get full name and return. Oh, this dot get full name equals a function. And right here we just want to return array. Uh, zero, so first name, plus a space, plus the last name. And let's go ahead and change this, this uh, function, got get full name. And now when we run it, instead of Ross, we should get Bob Ross. Perfect. So those are our getters. Um, pretty straightforward, uh, not too hard. Excuse me, while I have some energy drink. Uh, Monster, you should definitely sponsor me. Uh, just throwing that out there. Uh, that would be nice. But anyhow, so setters uh, take in a parameter. And what a setter does, for instance, set first name takes in a parameter called first. We are then going to override our value. How do we do that? Well, we know that we're going to have an array. So let's go. Let's just get started. They give us kind of a blank template here of set this dot set first name is equal to a function now this function is going to take into the parameter first first is going to be what we want to reset our first name to so we're not returning anything all we're going to do here is instead set that first index position equal to our our now new first value first parameter so when we do bob dot get 
Bob not set first name. Uh, let's go ahead and set it to uh, Dylan. And then when we um, we want to get the first name now, it should go ahead and return Dylan. So after we set it, and there it is. So we know it's working properly. Cool. Uh, now let's just go ahead and do the same thing for set last name. So this dot set last name, and we're gonna do it the same same way. So we're gonna create a function that takes in a parameter called last. And make sure you're um, following the the uh, suggestions here. If you don't, it, your code won't actually pass. At least my, mine didn't uh, at the time of me making this video. So maybe let's change that. Um, <laughs> so array one, so our last name, we're just going to set it to the last parameter. And we can go ahead and set this to um, CT360. And oops, set last name. And we want to get a last name. Let's go ahead and run that. Cool. So our, our set last name, get last name is working. Now all we have less to do is set full name. This one's slightly different. Uh, it's not too complicated, just different. So we want to set the full name. And we only want to pass in one parameter. Now to do this, uh, we're going to create a function. Pass in the parameter first and last. And what we want to do here is we want to take that string that's getting passed in, we want to split it like we originally did, and then we want to set the values. So we'll create an array here called a var array split. And we want to split our array, excuse me, split first and last string uh, wherever there is a gap. And from here, it's just a matter of resetting uh, the original array values. So the uh, first name we're going to reset. We could, oh, actually, we might as well use our functions. So we're going to say set first name right here, and we want to set that to uh, array split zero index, and then we want to go set last name right here to array split one index so let's go ahead and test this so we are going to say set full name and we're go we'll put in Dylan put a space CT 360 and then we want to get the last name uh, which do we get full name so after we set it, we want to get the full name. Let's go ahead and run that. Set first name is not defined. Oops. This dot, this dot, now run it. There we go. So you can see now everything's working. Um, when we get rid of this, I believe our code should pass. And there you go. Um, just keep in mind, uh, you saw I made a mistake right there, that because we are working within the person object, you're going to need to use this to let it know that uh, that's, what, that's where it's coming from, essentially. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, as always, I encourage everyone to put comments in their code. Uh, for the most part, this is pretty straightforward. I'll go ahead and put comments in after. Thank you to everyone who's uh, supporting me on Patreon. Don't forget to like and share the video. It helps out the channel a ton and really keeps me motivated, guys. I appreciate it a ton. And as always, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.